In garages and labs across the country, a new generation is showing up to build what's next. America is building again. From cars to rockets, this is our future taking shape. Scott, you are known for your iconic sketches. Your books are studied globally. You love building so much, you even designed and built your own car. So why are you bringing AI into your work now? We didn't have the internet, we didn't have computers, we didn't have video games. So I had primarily movies, books, and model building, of which I did a lot of. So I built lots and lots of things with my hands. You know, I was 11 years old the first time I saw Star Wars, so you can imagine what an impact that had. It, all of a sudden, here's a whole new world. You know, you were just blown away by this other world, right? It was a, it was a parallel universe. I fell in love uh, with world building, and now AI is another world to me. You know, I sort of feel like I'm having a conversation with myself uh, in like different, you know, in a multiverse. I can send out these prompts with a sketch with a variation and different variables. And each time I'm sending it out, I feel like I'm sending it to another one of myself and they're gonna kick it back to me. And out of those 10 that I'm working with, right, I see like, what, oh, Scott in B World, what the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of that, that future where it's 20 of, me and myself and all working as a team, that doesn't scare me. Um, I find it super energizing. So these are all renderings of uh, my past car projects. These are the images I'm gonna use to train my palette. There we go, that's my trained palette here. And we'll just exercise it and see how it works, right? And then I'm running through also the progression again of drawing influence. These are all at 100% drawing influence. So that's gonna stay as close as possible to my line drawing. And then as I move to the right, they're all going down. In Palettes for me inside Viscom are the realized dream of what the conversation with Jordan and team uh, started years ago. My role in trying to help advance the Viscom tool set over the last several years, um, and palettes specifically, um, was really just saying, guys, please give me this. <laughs> please give me this. <laughs> this is where we need to go to get back more of the authorship. We need more originality in the training of the data sets. Basically, the designers and the artists need control of the data set, right? So give me control of the data set. I've always gravitated towards adapting quickly. If I see something that's going to make my current skill set less relevant in the future, my attitude is I can either fight that and be left behind, or I can choose to get out in front of it, and maybe I could even join with some of the people that are creating those tools and get even further ahead of it and actually help to start steer it. But. But at the same time, it's not just about better tools. It's about how we think about the future and the, the push and pull of the, of the AI technology. You can be within one day, you can be super excited about the results and the positive impact. And then later that same day, you can be like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. I wish we never had it. Um, but the reality is it's here, it's not going away. How do we adapt and guide it to be something substantially more positive than negative? Can we make it better? Yeah, I like to think we can. <laughs>